everyone. Excuse my hair day, but you know, I guess we all have one of those. It's been a crazy morning. Um, I wanted to get on here and do this driving with Trish because I've been going through something the past few days and I'm not going to go into details or anything because I'm not going to, it would be too easy and I don't want something coming back and saying, you were talking about me, because no, I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about the experience and the feelings and the recovery. Um, but I've been dealing with something the past few days that have brought back a lot of painful, bad, hurtful memories from um, something that happened within the past couple of years. And it was very hurtful um, on more levels than just one. And it had kind of like a snowball effect and it affected um, certain goals and decisions that I had to make and there had to be adjustments made. But, guess what? I made them. I'm still alive. And um, I believe in everything there is a positive. Uh, sometimes it's a lot harder to find that positive. But there's a positive in there somewhere. Basically, um, it w it's been really rough. Last night was horrible, and it was just, I was just emotionally so, and mentally such a mess that I was physically ill. And I was trying to sort through my head, and you know, sometimes when you are going through something that has been so hurtful to you that you just can't, it's like, this is crazy, you guys are probably going to unsubscribe and think I don't belong in the loony bin. I love you anyway. Um, it's kind of like you're sitting in the middle of a carousel, and there are so many different thoughts and things going, emotions going around you that you can't process just one thing. You keep looking at all these different things and you can't grab a hold of one long enough to complete a process of thought that is going to be any resolution or solve any of the issues that you're feeling. I hope that makes sense. I don't know how else to describe it. But I'm not going to get emotional because today is a new day. But a very dear friend of mine, um, I've helped her through some things. She helps me through some things. And that's what good friends are. Always there for each other. And she told me things straight up the way I needed to hear to refocus and, you know, one of those you just have to have somebody just point blank look at you and say what can you do about this you know what ha would happen if you do a what would happen if you would do B what would happen if you would do C and which of those is going to get the result you want that you're going to be satisfied with and that's going to help you the most and it just hurt <clears throat> excuse me reaffirming some of those things and making me say it and realize it out loud. Although it's not always pleasant to dig down and see what's really going on in your head um, and what's causing some of the conflicts and emotions. You almost have to if there's going to be. I'm sorry about that noise. They're doing something to the road. For there to be any, any healing and all that always have to. So, um, she helped me a lot last night and basically 
started my thought process in the right way. And I guess what I'm trying to say is, you know, if you look at it from where you get your strength. Personally, I get my strength from God. Now, just because I'm a Christian and I have a relationship with God, I am in no way perfect. Um, what's that saying? Because you're a Christian, you're not perfect, you're just forgiven. It's just, you know, I'm not perfect. I've never said, pretended to be perfect. Um, but sometimes you, your mind just starts thinking in the worldly way and not in the godly way. And then, you know, your self-confidence is already down because of whatever's going on. And it's, it's like, you know, after I talked to my friend Denise last night, I was like, seriously, Trish, you know, why are they better than you? They're not. They're not. Um, nobody should be better than anyone. And there was a, I saw a preacher on TV one day, and what he said rang so true. You know, God wants us to have self-confidence. God wants us to go for what our heart's desires are and what, you know, he has planned out the best for us. And, you know, if you're down and... And if you're feeling low, if somebody is making you in your life feel like you're not good enough or you're not worthy, you know, hold fast to the fact of whether you believe in God, whether you have a relationship with God, no matter what religion you are, even if you're not religious, you are still a child of God. And that puts you, should put you on a level to where you don't let anybody talk down to you or, you know, make you feel that you're not worthy of anything. You don't deserve this opportunity at this place. You don't deserve to be with these people. That's baloney. And then it just really helped me. It's not that I, I in no way think that I'm better than anyone. I, I don't think that at all. But sometimes you have to take a, take a step back when you really want something, when you really have a goal, and you have to prioritize and get your head on straight. Because if your head isn't on straight, you're not gonna reach your goal. And if you have a goal and there's somebody standing there you may never say it to their face, but you have to know in your heart that you're as good as they are and you deserve as much, if not more, because, you know, God only wants the best for his children. If you have kids, you know, you want the best for that child, for your children. However many you have, you want the absolute best for those children. And that's what God wants for us. So I kept thinking that last night and I was like you know Denise was right I was giving them power over me my decisions my feelings my emotions and I just took it back and you know I, I apologized to God I said I'm sorry I I just slipped up again and you know, I'm not pushing religion down anybody's throat. This is just the way I feel. And where I've gotten my... Ooh, big bump, sorry. Where I've gotten my strength. And, um, you know, I just want you guys to know, I know that so many people are going through major things, through big things, and, you know... We can get wrapped up in it and let it get us down. And then once we get down, it's like it affects everything and everyone and what you want and what you don't want. And then you go into a depression and you don't want anything. You don't deserve anything. 
and I didn't want to spiral into that, what I call a dark place where, you know, you're not even looking for positive. So I didn't mean to ramble on for 10 minutes. Um, I just want, you know, if this video helps just one person, you just need to realize that, you know, go for what you want. Go for, you know, don't let anybody tell you you can't or make you think that you can't. Um, I'm not going to go into, oh, sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail, um, but I will say, and I don't know why, maybe somebody just needs to hear this. Um, when I was growing up, my dad was not the most positive person. Um, you know, he, uh, my mom was, but my dad, he wasn't. Um, you know, it was actually kind of all negative. Um, you'll never amount to anything. You'll never do this. Nobody will ever love you. One of those, yeah, real positive. But, um, you know, you just have to realize, even if it is somebody in your family that is being a naysayer, there's better out there for you than what you're going through. And if you just, if you just hold on to that goal, and you just do your best, you know, I, I just think you'll make it. Just keep that dream. Just keep that dream. And, um, cause that's what, that's what God wants for all of us. The best. It's not like there's a limit on blessings. You know, he wants to bless all of us a lot. So, um, yeah, I guess that's why I've done this, uh, rambling for as long as I've done it because I just really want you guys to know that if there's one person that needs to hear that no matter who your naysayer is or what they're saying don't let it poison your dreams don't let it poison your future and don't give it let it get have control over your destiny because life is way too short and you can, you can do, and you can be anything you want to be. And I really hope you guys have a blessed day. I love you all.